I receive calls from time to time asking the proper way to install a seal that has two lips. For example, here's, sorry about that. For example, here's the, an H1 seal, and you can see it has a lip here, and then a lip here. So the void in the middle, the proper way to install these is to pack them with a heavy grease. Any wheel bearing grease will do. And that's how this one's prepared. I use, uh, in this case, it was a John Deere, a new tube of um, John Deere heavy duty grease I had. And I figured uh, the green color would be appropriate. All right. So once you have the seal collar on, which you do not ever stake to put this on, it's put on dry with only 620 Loctite. You want to take the seal, if you just slip it on, it'll push most of the grease out this way. So what I do is I start it on there, just over the first slip, trying not to touch the grease, as, or at least as little as possible, and then get it over that first seal, just like that. And now you can see a big hunk of grease sitting here. So what I do with that is I'll take usually three fingers and hold it around the seal and turn the crank as I walk the seal down onto the collar. And what this does, it's constantly pushing grease into that cavity while it's being installed. And you'll see here in a second, I'm almost there, get to that last part where you bump it, that last part of the seal over the collar and you're there. And you could see the amount of grease I had in that seal and the blob that was left over. And this is what remains. And that's next to nothing. That seal is 100% packed full of grease. And that's the proper way to install a seal with two lips.